Hello guys, how are you doing today? Welcome to another episode of Investment Chart in the Rolls Royce. And today, I want to share on overcoming emotional attachment to money, right? So, I need you to know that money is just a tool, right? Money in itself is paper, okay? And when you're too attached to money, then two things will happen. Anytime you're broke, right? You are sad. <laughs> I don't know whether you had that experience. Because you're emotionally attached to it. You literally, sometimes your sense of what, your sense of value is tied to money. That's not good for you. You have to be able to detach and understand that money is just a vehicle, it's a tool. Okay? It's not the real substance. The real substance is in your mind. The real substance is in who you are as a being as a person i've seen so many people where um once they get money they want to buy clothes they want to buy shoes they want to buy this they want to buy that and that's not what money is supposed to be for let me say this and it's very important you should only spend your grandchild the first money you get is a seed right it's a seed you don't spend it it is when you have invested that first seed and it has brought us fruit, then you invest the second one, it brings fruit, then the third one, spend it how you like. <laughs> okay, so only spend the grandchild of your money. So if you earn salary of, let's say, $20,000, right? That $20,000 is a seed, right? Just take a little, and then we always say pay yourself first. What we mean by pay yourself first means save first and then spend what is left. So when you save, uh, let's say $10,000, there's nothing that says you can't live on $10,000. Save the remaining $10,000. Okay, somebody say I'm earning less. Yeah, the same model apply. Even if you're earning $200, save $100, you know, and, in, you know, and, and use $100. Now over time, the savings that you've build together begin to invest that and then when that investment comes up with returns invest the return then the third generation spend it how you like that's how i live today i have been able to build a life and that's why never compare yourself with wealthy people because you don't understand which of their money they're spending is it the first generation is it second generation is it the third is it the fourth so somebody will say, hey, you know, but you live a luxurious life. But you don't know the generation I'm spending. When I used to track, you don't know that time. When I didn't have money, when I used to live in the suburb, when I used to, uh, um, you know, sleep in my office because I don't even have transportation to go back home. You don't know. So I'm now at a phase where I can spend the third, fourth, fifth generation of the money that I have. And that's what you want to do. Oh, I hope you've learned a thing or two today on another episode of Mentorship in a Rolls Royce. I'm Dr. Stephen Akita, Africa's most sought-after investment coach, Sri entrepreneur. Um, of course, don't miss the next episode and share a testimony. Comment below how this has changed your life. Share this video with your friends, your loved ones. Let me know how this has impacted their life. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Steven Akintayo Consulting, expanding the frontiers of knowledge and wealth. To sign up, log on to www.stevenakintayo.com forward slash.